Uh, hi guys, uh, Mark here. I'm putting together the pump from M127 engine. Uh, as promised earlier, I'm gonna uh, put out a little video of what's going on here. So I removed that cup. I'm gonna I'm gonna place the coupler in there. I got the whole set of washers. I got the and seals from SLS that will cover basically 95 to 98 percent of of the required pieces there uh, almost everything is there so far uh, one thing i noticed that was missed only in the whole set if you purchase a whole set from sls uh, there was a single seal for the pump uh, between the, that goes between the pump and the engine and you need two of those one on the pump side and one on the engine side uh, so that that's the only thing that's the two bucks I got another one and no problem anyway um, you put a new uh, crash washer in there screw this guy in okay and for now I'm not gonna I believe that's 19 let me grab a wrench um, yeah I should have prepped that before but anyway uh, I'm not gonna go crazy here yet all I'm gonna do is just tighten, just just make sure it's, it's half decent. Uh, since I don't have uh, the fitting that will go from here to the other end, I'm kind of negotiating on it. So uh, this piece was missing when I got the car, when I got the project, and I'm in the process of I actually get one. And if everything goes well, I may have it Monday uh but as you know those pieces are, are hard to come by anyway let's continue with this for now we can just place a cup or something in it you know one of those uh, cover cups they are cheap i buy a bag full of them put this on this way you know nothing gets in there uh, everything is safe and secure okay so let's open the second one and here exactly I got those uh, line cups uh, at, at my local hydraulic supply place you know they they may be not the cheapest but I think they are the safest way uh, to protect the pump from anything happening from any debris or anything like that getting in there anyway you grab a new seal oh sorry actually before we go on now on this side there is a check valve and this is an important part uh, of, of this assembly. So what are we going to do now? Actually, we're going to uh, leave the pump aside a second. I'll just leave it where it is. And I will show you. I have the refinished uh, body of the check valve. So that's one piece. Now here in a little container, I have three pieces that I already cleaned. The little plastic piece that is still in very good shape. There's nothing wrong with it. There's a spring that you can see here. And also the nut that closes the assembly. So I have already cleaned those. I don't think I have to show you in a video you know, how you clean it. You clean it any way you like it. Just don't use any harsh stuff on that plastic. I, I, you know, I like transmission fluid, I don't know, whatever. Uh, your choice is but anyway it cleaned up pretty nice and it's uh, it doesn't cause any harm so um, how are we gonna assemble it uh, let me grab a chair so I can show you how I did it and it worked out pretty good I just got myself a pick uh, because I will definitely need that uh, maybe one more here from the uh, from the toolbox and um, we'll go from there so Okay, I have another one just in case. Um, so what we're gonna do now is, this is the part that will screw in. But as you can see, this needs to assemble in a certain way and it's kind of hard. If you were just to place this little piece in there, then um, you may not actually you may not actually, oh, you know what, let me refocus here. If you were to place this, uh, I'm not sure if you saw all those, uh, the video, I think the camera went uh, a little off. So what you got, you got those three, those four pieces that you got to put together that before the valve body goes on to the pump. So how I do it, um, 
I place, this is the nut that goes in last and this piece needs to go in that orientation in there. So in order to make sure that nothing flips and the spring still provides the proper tension and it's lined up, as you see, this needs to go just like this. So to make sure that this doesn't flip or anything, what I do, I uh, just get a little oil on my hand, on my finger, like next to nothing, you know, I have a little bottle, squirt bottle, put this on just next to nothing and same on the spring and same on the cup in the back. This is like, like just a light fill. So what this will allow, it will kind of help hold this spring in place as well as the little plastic piece that goes into the goes into the body. Now what you're gonna do there are little there are little cuts at the bottom. At the top you can see it here and also at the top of that nut. So you can use your pick right here to hold that in place. So what you will do you will just place this on top slowly so that plastic doesn't fly off the spring and you may have to try it a few times like you have to feel get the feel for it so this is working so the plastic gets right in there like see like right now I could feel no resistance as soon as you feel any resistance as soon as you feel that you're compressing the spring that's mean you are not pressing the plastic straight into the channel and it may flip and then the valve will never work so now, as, as it went all the way through without compressing the spring, you use your pick and you put it in that little groove and you can slowly turn, now you can slowly turn the top. Not, right now it's not, the top is not complying, but don't worry. Try to turn it back and line it up with the threads. We'll do it again. See, I have it on the towel, maybe I should put it on the um, uh, stiffer piece. Anyway, right now, right now I grab the threads and uh, the nut is turning in already. So, when I reach the point, okay, I think it's, oh, it's still going. Okay, now it's sliding. The nut is already uh, flush with the, uh, with the assembly. So, what you need to do now is, is grab a screwdriver, lift this straight up. Uh, the plastic piece is already safe and secure. It's not going anywhere, but you don't want to flip it. You just put this on top of a screwdriver and you turn that, you turn that in or, or turn the bottom in, like any way, any way you like it. Just keep it straight up still until the plastic piece reaches the top. So everything is going real nice and smooth. I'm almost, I hope I'm almost there. I think I can, let me see. Yes, yes, I can see it's almost there. It's quite a few turns though, but you have to keep it upside. Okay, so I have reached the top now. Um, the nut bottomed out, so I can take that off and show you the, show you, so see that, I, I, let me, let me see if you can see it well, or maybe bring it closer. So that nut right here, bottom, bottomed out. Yeah, maybe now, yeah. That nut bottomed out, it's all the way in, and wonder if you can see it in the video. Yeah, I think so. Uh, maybe like, come on, focus. Yeah, I think you can see a little bit. Yes, right now, that little bit of white in there. That's that's that plastic piece that is resting on the other side of the body. So this way, you can see that. The assembly is put together correctly, the check valve will work. Um, if you don't see it lining up like that, take it off and redo it again. This, this plastic piece definitely needs to sit inside that spring. If this goes off, it will never close the channel properly and you will always have the problem with the fuel going back and forth and the check valve basically not, not doing its job. Anyway, so since this is assembled, you want to grab it, you know, maybe give it one last 
there make sure it's all the way in um, now grab another seal another crash washer from that size right a brand new one and you can put that you can put that right in um, okay since all those parts were refinished um, I did run a nut on top of all the threads and inside as well just to make sure everything is nice and uh, solid there's no obstructions but uh, it is tighter so you may have to use a wrench it's not crazy tight but it's tighter than than it was since it was coated again right um, okay so we're just gonna go okay I think I reached the all right we're there now the next part is uh, the return line this is m127 so it's a little different from m130 first of all our uh, in, uh, input and output uh, lines are on the opposite side from the m130 pump uh, so anyway let's go with this guy here the, that's the uh, line that you gotta put in that uh, um, rubber hose will go on top so we're just gonna put this in uh, and not really tighten it as, as since this is not on the car I will do a fi final tightening when uh, the pump is on the car because I don't know the proper orientation yet and I do not wish to kink the hoses or anything like that so therefore we'll grab another washer from my pile you know you put one on the bolt itself on the bandra bolt itself and um, you need to grab one to put it underneath the bandra so um, let, let's uh, refocus the camera here uh, all right there we are in the frame again um, and so what we are doing now is putting the banjo on the bolt and then putting another crash washer underneath it and that will thread in to our um, check valve all right Okay, I'm just gonna tighten it very gently. 